Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about elite chest runs, trains, or world tours. These are all the same thing, called different things across different servers. So whether you're on Valhalla, hearing world tours, or Afina, hearing train, or even, I believe, some El Dorado server or some other server is actually calling them ECR or elite chest runs. These are simply just very, very good for fresh level 60 accounts. And if you guys want to continue to bump your expertise up or even just try to grind out for different kinds of gear, these are really great strategies of doing so. So the first thing you want to do is take a look at your recruitment channel. So just hit enter and then left click on the recruitment. You'll be able to see everything in recruitment. So a lot of people asking for different expeditions and things like that, but you'll also see people's Xing up for imp, Xing up for Merc. And when they do this specifically, it means they want an invite or they're looking for other people to X up so that they can invite them for those runs. So the first thing you do is if you see an X imp or an X Merc, you'll know exactly where to go based on the, you know, the last four letters or three letters here in this case with imp and then four letters with Merc. And we'll explain all those locations in a second. But what you would do is you would instantly invite Dante. You could instantly invite everyone else that usually X ups behind Dante. Also, if you're looking to get involved with these, you're going to be able to get an invite potentially if you X up behind them saying, you know, X Merc or X Imp. There's actually going to be two different trains going on at the exact same time. So you got to make sure you're going to the right place. And that's kind of what we're going to be doing today is talking about all the locations that you're going to want to be familiarized with so you don't get lost during these world tours, elite chest runs, or like I said, trains. So let's get right into it. So we all know that you don't always have gypsum orbs so you can get those automatic gear score bumps so that's something that a lot of people are running these elite chest runs for and that's why a lot of fresh level 60s are getting involved with them as quickly as possible so they can get those expertise bumps and get ready for the great sword and so many things coming with brimstone sands so if you open up this blunderbuss cast i don't have 600 gear score because i don't really love the blunderbuss i don't use it too much unless i'm on ptr so for that reason you'll see that i'm actually still getting expertise bumps with the gypsum orbs i got plus three expertise and i could be running world tours every day to continue bumping that up and that's why a lot of people are doing this when they don't have their gear at 600, they don't have their weapons at 600. It's a great way to do it very, very quickly and very easily as you don't really need a specific five-man team. You just X up, you join a huge group of people running through these elite zones and just grab all the chests you can. It's a great way to gain a lot of gold as well as there is some great drops that are sometimes bind on equip and you can sell on the market as well. So the first location I want to talk about is the mines aka scorched mines it's in shattered mountain just down the path north from mountain home i do want to say as well guys so there was a great post on this by scarface 08 and he gave credit to dh yo miller on reddit so they did a great post on this kind of detailing some things and it never gets enough attention that i think it deserves so i want to kind of make a full video on this so all you new fresh level 60s will understand all the terminology that comes with new world when you get to that level 60 in some of these zones they can be a little bit crazy with their terminology and some of the shortenings of them so the first one is going to be called mines aka scorched mines in shattered mountain just down the path north from mountain home so you can see here, Mountain Home Outpost, you're going to actually just go right up here. This is going to be the Scorched Mines. You can see the name right there. Scorched Mines is a really, really good place to start. And they usually go straight to Merc Guard after this. I'm not going to say this is always the case, people. They do tend to mix it up quite a bit per server. But this is sometimes the route that they take. And it doesn't matter as long as you know what's next by understanding all of the acronyms and kind of things that go along with it. So next up, we have Merc aka Merc Guard. It's in Shattered Mountain. Follow group from Mines to get there or Spirit Shrine near the entrance. So it's a lot easier to follow these groups when you have all the Spirit Shrines on the map. Specific ones we'll talk about during this video. But here you can see Scorched Mines to the west. We're going to go east. We're going to come up to Merc Guard. You can go to this Travel Shrine as well if you want to recall first and then travel there. Uh, but you can see the location is usually going to start here at Greater Tribulation pretty much right there. Uh, I'll try to make a ping. It's There he goes. It wasn't pinging for a second, but that is usually where everyone will meet up before they all run in. If you see everyone running in, you're going to miss the train. Get the heck in there as people are not going to wait for you, it seems like, on these trains. So next up, we have Mal or Malev. Malevolence is a pretty cool zone. You can see here it's elite stronghold in the heart of Eden Grove, and you can actually take this fast travel shrine if you want, and you'll usually meet up right about here. Uh, but you'll usually find people. You'll also be able to see your group members, by the way, by pressing M. And you'll actually see your group members where they're running. So if you're kind of new to it, 
All it will take is a group that actually kind of knows what they're doing. You'll just follow them around. But Malevolence, or M-A-L or M-A-L-E-V, this is Malevolence. This is the next spot, usually right after Mines and Mertguard. So next up after Mines, Mertguard, and Malevolence, we do have Imperial Palace, or what they call Imp, I-M-P, in the recruitment chat. You actually saw it earlier. This is the one that they said X-Imp. And this is going to be a really cool spot just because you're able to fast travel very, very quickly and closely to the spot right here with this Imperial Shrine in the bottom left of Evanscale Reach. So it's a very, very easy place to get to if you do have that fast travel shrine. And it's right to the bottom left Spirit Shrine near the Dynasty Expedition. And then right there you are. Uh, Dynasty, by the way, right here if you didn't know. Uh, I also want to talk a little bit about Sirens. So Sirens is going to be the next location located in Reekwater, pretty much east of the settlement at the POI called Four Castle Drift. So if we take a look here, this is going to be Sirens uh, or really Four Castle Drift right there. So Siren Stand is going to be what they call this one. They're going to call it just basically Sirens. There's really no short for this one, which is nice. So every new player kind of knows what they mean. Typically, uh, you're going to want to meet up about right here in front. Um, Usually you'll see people making tents or setting up camps in front and you'll be able to get in there. So I do want to talk about the next spot in Reekwater and that's going to be Eternal Pools or they call it Pools and it makes perfect sense. So P-O-O-L-S is going to be right here, Eternal Pool. It's going to be a meetup spot of about right here. You can actually fast travel right to the Lazarus Shrine or you can just go to Reekwater and run up north from there. This is definitely not my favorite spot, but I do want to hear your guys' favorite elite zone. Mine probably is Merc Guard or Imperial Palace. I just think those look the coolest, and just for that reason, those are my favorite. So last but not least, we have the Mangled Heights. They call it Short Mangled, and it's going to be located right west of the settlement. It starts at the Spirit Shrine that we can actually see right here. So this is going to be that Spirit Shrine you're going to teleport to in Great Cleave. You'll just teleport to Cleve's Point Outpost, run straight west, and they're going to go right up here into the old Mertgard Forest, into Balebone Mall, but you can see, like I said, Mangled Heights is the name of this location, and it's a very, very cool spot that a lot of people just didn't really use at the beginning of this game, so it's nice that we actually have reasons to jump in these locations. They up the enemies uh, kind of level and everything, and the gear that can drop is actually decent, so it's a spot that's utilized much, much more than it was for sure. If you guys don't know, during all of these runs, there's a lot of great mining spots as well that have Orichalcum. Because of that, you're going to want to have level 175 mining if possible because that is going to be really beneficial to you if you're able to mine all this Orichalcum while people are basically killing everything for you. They're going to be very, very contested with all the people running through these trains, but if you're lucky, you may get one or two nodes on the run. If you're a player that's been around for a while, you're not just a returning player or a fresh player that hit level 60, make sure to let me know in the comments if I missed anything. I really want these guides to be helpful for people that are just coming back to the game or maybe just hitting 60 for the first time. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on.